Invention of the car not only helped to make the trip from point A to B shorter and comfortable, but it also gave many of us a passion to pursue. There is design, technology, and the thrill of driving, to name a few. But it also has the ability to become an integral part of our lives and even our history. Perhaps that's the reason for brands with legacy. The contribution of France in the motor industry is unparalleled and they've been at the forefront of the automotive revolution. Citroën is a quintessential French automotive company with a strong legacy of innovation and cutting-edge design. Over the years, they've made a number of highly influential cars that have stood the test of time and are extremely collectible today. So, we are here to meet a car collector with such a piece of history in his collection. A car that was designed to put an entire country on wheels and help France move forward after the Second World War the iconic 2CV. Mr. Goenka, thank you so much for joining us. You have one of the largest collections and the most diverse collection of classic cars in India. What started this passion? Thank you for talking to me. Um, I was uh, a single child to my parents. And being the only child without any siblings, I naturally gravitated towards uh, automobiles when I was very young. Mr. Goenka, you have the iconic 2CV behind us. What made you collect this car? The 2CV is uh, truly an iconic car, uh, one of the few iconic cars that the world produced. It's, uh, if any collector who was serious about his car collection had to have one of these. It's cute, it's quirky, it's got some lovely curves. Apart from that, it's a very radical design, uh, very interesting and radical, very simple design. For example, I've not seen a car which has windows that go up this way and lock so simply. Yeah. And you know, you have the top which just slides neatly into the, the rear. It's called a rack top and you know, these are, and it still has the sturdiness of um, a framework on the top, so I find this to be a very interesting car and all of two cylinders, it takes my weight and flies with my weight actually. Just look at the softness of the suspension, the pliancy of the suspension. This car is designed so many years ago to have such a pliant suspension. There's a story of farmers taking eggs across freshly ploughed fields and the eggs not breaking or falling off the trays, you know, the same kind of Extreme comfort and suspension continues with all Citroens after this. And speaking of that, the latest Citroen, the, the C5 Aircross, continues that innovation. Why don't we go for a drive? Let's do that. Like most of the Citroens I've driven, I find this car has an amazingly luxurious and soft suspension, obviously designed for bad Indian roads. The smoothness and softness is something that I've not experienced in many of the other cars that I've driven, including very expensive cars. The engine and gearbox seem to be highly refined as well. It seems to take off pretty smoothly. It just gobbles up the road. I wish one could see how bad the road is which I'm taking the car on, but she's just floating over it. The delight. And they seem to have done a good job just sort of applying it to Indian conditions. I think so, I think very much so. Compared to some of the other cars, this car is just perfect. Though, these two cars are separated by more than 80 years. They are a true testimony to the daring imagination of Citroen and the commitment to provide a more comfortable ride than the last one. 